Let's take a closer look at the parts and pieces inside a laser printer. The separation pad is a little bit of rubber, a small part, but it plays a very important role in laser printing. It's what's responsible for pulling paper from the paper tray and making sure that the printer doesn't pull more than one sheet and that it pulls one sheet at a time in the correct orientation. As you would expect, the separation pad is a, is a physical item that will wear out and will require replacement from time to time. The laser printer has a series of rollers, some of which are responsible for picking up and pulling the paper through the rest of the process. Many laser printers will have an extension, normally at the bottom of the printer, above the paper tray, that handles duplexing because, let's face it, in this movement, gradual movement, towards the paperless office, the first step is to reduce the amount of printed output that we're outputting. And you could take a 100-page printout and make it 50 pages if you turn on duplexing. So it's a good idea. Now, as I said, the imaging drum, the actual light an electronically sensitive drum is contained within the toner cartridge. So the toner hopper and associated components are all together as part of the toner cartridge. We might also, in addition to rollers, have belts that facilitate the transfer of toner from the toner drum to the drum assembly and then the paper itself. Ultimately, once the page has been taken from the paper tray, passed in very close proximity to the photoreceptive drum, it passes into the fuser assembly where the toner that's been transferred from the drum to the paper becomes permanently fused with that paper and ultimately, as you see at the top of this printer, by means of rollers and belts, the page ultimately leaves the printer and sits waiting, very warm, because there's a lot of heat involved in that fuser assembly. That's actually a good point that we'll cover in more detail in the next module. When you're cleaning a laser printer, absolutely you want to remove power from the unit, let it sit for a little while, and let the fuser assembly cool off because that is hot. It's all about thermally binding the toner to the printer. Now if you're thinking, Tim, you're really not giving me a heck of a lot of detail here. I thought that for the A-plus exam, I have to know step by step what happens in the laser printing process. The truth of the matter is yes, that is true. That's been one of the pet topics that's been part of the A-plus objective since the beginning. And I'm going to defend CompTIA here because, and I'm repeating myself, I feel kind of like a parrot. And believe it or not, I have a parrot. Her name is Sam and she's a blue-headed peonis. And yes, she does repeat stuff. She doesn't speak English, but her squawking is very repetitive <laughs> indeed. But yes, this laser printing stuff, the management of laser printers is going to be an everyday task for you as a networking professional. And so you really do need to understand how these parts and pieces work. I didn't mention the laser unit you see here. Notice that the laser that actually writes the image to the photosensitive drum doesn't shoot directly onto the drum. Instead, there's a rotating and shifting mirror that reflects the laser and actually carries the beam across the drum from left to right, somewhat redolent to how an inkjet or an impact or an electric typewriter works. 